Well, these days, when even the phones are increasingly smart, it's hard to imagine what humans can teach a computer. But according to some of the world's leading experts, there is one area where we hold superior knowledge, how to evolve. This robotic rat is investigating its environment, learning, revising, and ultimately teaching scientists a lot about the human hippocampus. That's the part of the brain that handles navigation. And maybe, when we add language, how we move through life. We think what it does is map out the symbolic space, the, the space of words, the space of ideas. That's the whole point of the Computational Intelligence Congress, taking ideas from nature and feeding them back into computers so they can communicate and evolve more like people do. They can already beat us at chess, now they're learning Go. Chess is much easier than the game of Go. Go is so important in parts of Asia that this contest is being covered in the daily press in Taiwan. Three of the world's top professionals are here, playing computers from all over the world. These computers have learned how to play Go in the computer using these sorts of nature-inspired techniques, and they're now learning at such a high level that they're competing with the human experts. One of the players is having his brain waves mapped in a study that might one day help people in high-stress jobs, like air traffic controllers. Go is, is almost as close as you can get to reality in a game that's fun. But because the people mostly win this game, they take a handicap. Now we play against the computer, we let them go like four pieces. You give them a head start? Yeah, we give them a head start. And you still beat them? Uh, yeah, I won my game yesterday. <laughs> How reassuring that where computational intelligence meets organic cunning, there's still a little room for human supremacy. Karen Berkman, ABC News, Brisbane.